Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this 2020 Range Rover. So you've got all these, all these little symbols at the bottom there, settings, you've got Bluetooth there. We'll try Bluetooth, uh, click on Bluetooth. You've got paired devices, paired new device, paired devices, forget all devices. So that's good. If you just want to clear the thing completely, click forget all devices. Paired devices, if I go to paired devices, it's showing my phone there. If I click on that, even though it says connect, you've got here forget device. So that's, you can see there, there's a tick for audio, a tick for phone. If you, if you can't play, if you can't stream any music, come to the same screen and make sure there's a tick in each, like that, see? Anyway, we want to forget this device, so forget. That's it, gone. Okay, I'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this 2020. Range Rover Sport. First of all, we make sure Bluetooth is on, and then we're watching out at the bottom here. Go over to the system, you see telephone there. You've got Bluetooth and telephone. We'll go to Bluetooth, and there you've got pair new device, pair phone or device, pair new device. So we'll click on that. Use your device to search for Range Rover Sport. Range Rover Sports come up, we'll click on there. Bluetooth pairing request 403614. Does it match this? 403614. Yes, it does. Pair. Allow contacts and favourites to sync. Allow. And that's it. Range Rover connected. Okay, I'll just show you how to stream music from your uh, mobile through the Bluetooth audio system in this 2020 Range Rover. So, what we do, we go to music. And now, that's the record playing at the moment. I'm going to turn it down. But you see at the bottom there, you know it's going to play anything that plays through this, any audio that goes through here, if you've got the, the system set up properly, the audio will play through the system, whether it's Spotify, YouTube audio tracks, that is, or iTunes or music as it's called now. But you see there, there's a tick next to Range Rover. So we'll go back, go back there, we'll click play. This is turned down while I set this so it doesn't come on blasting on. So over here you've got kind of the clapperboard and the music note. We click on there. At the moment it's playing BBC Radio 2 so we now go we want to find your phone we go to source click source and there you see at the moment it's on radio but we want it on my iPhone so click that. Now when I turn this up here actually I'll have to do it again because it's gone off so that's playing. Here we go. So that's it, playing music. Okay, how to set the sat nav. Here's the screen. You've got your direction there. That's the sat nav button, the little arrow. It looks like an arrowhead. So we clicked on there. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot there. It says hello, sign into your account. If I click that again, you then go to search places, your destinations, search an address place or a key, a keyword. So we'll click on that, search. We want Grosvenor Garage, Blackburn Road, Hale Walton, P, PR, five, four, E, A. Enter. Were you looking for this? PR54EA. Well, yeah, I typed it in and I clicked enter. So, yes, no internet connection, navigating, navigation connected features unavailable. But anyway, don't show this again. I don't want to see that again. We'll click OK. That's it. 32.4 miles away, one hour, one minute. Click start. That's, that's the sat nav. Alternatively, with all those things, with CarPlay, all you do, plug your phone in like so, and you can get a device um, where it connects it via Bluetooth. So I've plugged that in, your phone's come up. Again, you can stream audio without doing all that stuff before. You can, you can make calls, you can use Siri when, you, when you've got access to the internet. And, and you can just ask Siri to take you to wherever. Hey Siri, take me to Grosvenor Garage, Preston.
Getting directions to Grosvenor Garage. Grosvenor Garage car dealer. Click go. I mean, why, with, with Apple CarPlay these days, why there's any other system in here, I'll, I'll just never know. Because you can, you can just do anything. Hey Siri, send a text. Who do you want to send it to? Gordon. What do you want to say? I'm out in a new Range Rover, just testing it. Your message to Gordon says I'm out on a new Range Rover, just testing it. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. And if I get a reply, you're driving along the road, you know that somebody sent you a text, there's nothing worse. You see people as you're driving along, looking down here or pretending they're driving, but they're looking at a text, you see. You just, it just reads it. it. It comes up and you can, there you go, you, you can, hey Siri, read my text. You have no new messages. Are you sure you, if I'd got a new message, here we go, hang on. Hey Siri, send a message to Barry Garage. What do you want to say? Just testing the text reading service on the audio system in this Range Rover. Your message to Barry Crampton says just testing the text reading service on the audio system in this Range Rover. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. Now it's showing there, obviously, I've sent a message to myself. It's showing that a, a text has come. Hey Siri, read text. Barry Crampton sent a new message. Just testing the text reading service on the audio system in this Range Rover. Would you like to reply? No, thank you. Those are all your messages. Thank you.